Hello, my name is Denise Harlow. I'm the CEO of the National Community Action Partnership. And today we want to talk about Community Action Month. I know within the Community Action Network, we are very excited that May is every year our way to honor and celebrate and highlight the great work that community action agencies, state associations, state offices, and the national partners are doing to fight poverty and help families find ways and paths to economic security. We have our toolkit up online. It's a up earlier this year. We're very excited by that. You can get it at our website, which is communityactionpartnership.com. It's right um, on the bottom of the, of the home page. There's a box that says Community Action Month Toolkit. You can download this resource. It'll have all the tools and resources you need to create your own package of activities and help you align with what's going on nationally. A big piece of what's in this toolkit is this great calendar. This calendar, every day over the course of the month, there is an idea that CAP agencies and associations and state offices can all kind of do together. For instance, um, on the 21st of May is Mission Monday. We're gonna ask all of our agencies to post their mission statements up on social media, whether that's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and use our hashtags, hashtag Community Action Works, and or hashtag we are 1000 strong, W E R 1000 strong, because as a network, we have a thousand local agencies, 40 plus state associations, 50 plus state offices, national partners. We cover 99% of America's counties with the great work you're doing every day. A few other elements that I want to talk about that are in the toolkit. One of the fun ones is color a huggy heart. Uh, the Huggy Heart is an element of uh, the national logo. Uh, we've done this over the last couple of years, and I love getting pictures from Head Start classrooms, early childhood. I've even seen staff um, stress relief of sending me a collage of Huggy Heart coloring um, pictures, and it's just beautiful. So this is a tool that you can download right in the toolkit. So again, the toolkit doesn't have a lot of fancy stuff, but it's got stuff that we hope uh, can be easily implementable in the field. Another element that agencies really like, and I believe it's on page 31 of the toolkit, is our sample proclamation. Many of you go to your mayor's, your city council, your governor's office, and you, your, your state house, and you say, can you declare such and such a day Community Action Day, or can you even declare the month of May Community Action Month? This is a sample proclamation that you can download, put it onto your own letterhead, put it onto a blank sheet of paper, and bring it to your elected officials and ask them to pass it and declare May as Community Action Month. We also have, um, we all love selfies, right? Or group groupies or whatever they're called. Um, I love this one too. Just a simple I Huggy Heart Community Action. What can you do to get your staff all put together? And um, take a picture and everybody holding up this one or make your own. We want you to be creative, but this is something that's easily plug and play. Download it, put it into practice in your organization. There are sample tweets and sample posts. So you don't have to create your own tweets. We got them right here for you. And we have a few that we'll be doing on certain different days. Um, Wednesday, um, May 2nd is um, honoring Older Americans Month. And we know many community action agencies do things like Meals on Wheels. Some agencies do home health care work. Um, you might be doing and running a senior center. Many agencies are areas, agencies on aging. That's a day where we can all be talking about the great work we do to help our seniors across the country. A lot of the resources in the toolkit do work with the new CSBG messaging. I know we've talked about our new communications plan. We have some new things planned um, for later this summer, but this new messaging is included in the toolkit so you can download it, use it, put it into practice how you want to at your own local organization. And let me just go back to the tweets for a moment. We've also included in the toolkit how to create a meme. They've even actually had me create memes lately and those little pictures that have fun sayings on them. We have an easy to use plug and play direction in the toolkit that if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> We also, this time of year, are soliciting um, folks to honor at our convention. Our convention is in August, this year in Denver, at the end of August. We give out several awards. We have the Jane Thomas Volunteer Award. If you have a volunteer at your organization that just kicks butt and takes names and you know who they are, I hope that you'll consider nominating them for the Jane Thomas Award. 
We also have the Sergeant Shriver Award. The Sergeant Shriver Award is a success story for a customer that's come into your organization who has achieved um, success in their own path toward economic security with your help along the way. And what can we do to honor them? Consider putting their name in uh, to win the award. So there's a lot of stuff in this toolkit that we think can hopefully be helpful to you as an organization. What can you do? Go to our website, download the toolkit, communityactionpartnership.com. You have questions. Diane Lee is our Director of Communications, D-L-E-E -E at communityactionpartnership.com, or you can email me at dharlow at communityactionpartnership.com. All of our contact information is up on our website. Um, we'll be posting many more uh, success stories. We've been doing that more and more in our e-news. I hope you've seen that, and we plan to put those up on our website as well. So. Community Action Month is a great time to honor and celebrate the great work that your customers who come in the door are able to, to, to pivot and, and garner new skills and move their families toward economic security. I hope that you use May to honor and celebrate those success stories and take a moment to thank you, your staff, your board, and your volunteers for all the great work we do um, across this country. Community Action is a powerful network of agencies helping families find their own way and helping revive communities. So thank you on behalf of the National Partnerships Board and staff for all the great work you do. We look forward to seeing you online during Community Action Month and send us your success stories, send us your proclamations, send us your Huggy Heart coloring collages, whatever you'd like, we'd love to be able to highlight what you're doing. So again, thank you for everything you do and we look forward to seeing you in May. Happy Community Action Month.